we've got La Vita up now for our first opponent tonight. Let's see what they bring into the party. Uh, Bravery, Trox Toxtricity, uh, Whimsicott, Indeedy Mail, Reykjavish, and Cinderace. Okay. Um, hmm. What could we do? I feel like Tentacruel isn't bad here. Like, we got to watch out for the Toxtricity, but I mean, the Crocodile kind of checks that. The only issue is uh, Crocodile proccing that Bravery's um, Defiant ability, which might not be the best thing in the world, but he also might be all right as well. Lava Lamp, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoy the stream. Hope you've had a good day. As much as I'm probably going to regret proccing the uh, tentacles, uh, the bravery's um, defiant with Crocodile, still going to go for this. My first time live. So excited. Awesome. It's great to have you here tonight. Now, I hope you do enjoy it. We're playing a bit of a fun team tonight. So, with Tentacruel, Crocodile as well. Um, I'm just thinking what we want is kind of a fallback if this doesn't work. Marowak's really good. Um, I think against the majority of stuff. Um, yeah, I think Marowak and P2 could probably deal with the majority of things. Uh, I still wor I would worry about the Dracovish for sure. But maybe Rillaboom would kind of come in handy, but Rillaboom doesn't have the best time. Let's lock in Marowak because otherwise we're going to time out <laughs> and that would never be good. Jim Audrey, how are you doing? I hope you're well, mate. Thanks for joining tonight. I hope you enjoy the stream with us, dude. And Johnny Hacks, how are you doing, man? I'm doing all right, mate. I'm doing all right. I'm pretty tired tonight. I'm tired tonight. I've been tired all day, though, so it's just one of those things. And I feel like I got stung. My cycle home from work. It's like coming around this corner on, on a, like a main road in this like random, I think it was a wasp. Pretty sure it was a wasp, but I, I don't know, it was so fast. And it flew into my face and I was kind of like stunned a little bit. And then like literally a minute later, it's been like really throbbing and it's stinging so much, but it's not swelled up. Like I normally would be swollen. I was like, oh my God, am I going to have this like swollen eye for the stream tonight? But it's never come to anything, but it's really, really sore. I was seeing Dracovish and Cinderace come out for my opponent. So we're in not a bad spot to actually just go for the Bulldoze uh, Max. And what do we chase? We got Max Ooze, Max Geyser. I think like the Cinderace is probably going to go Max Airstream, I think. Um, I think go Max Ooze into the, the Dracovish. Not too worried about that. We'll go for this. Um, and Lava Lamp. Uh, I've learned so much from you. You really are my inspiration for battles. I watch all of your vids and you're crazy good. I'm happy to be. Oh, that is so nice to you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And I'm pleased the video has helped, uh, honestly. And it's honestly a privilege to have you here tonight. So I hope you learn some things and I don't do too many things wrong. <laughs> I hope. So Gollum, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well. Doc Wright, how are you? I hope you've all had a good day. Jim Audrey, I'm thinking of switching Marowak for Incineroar. Isn't having much playing time. Yeah, I mean, Incineroar is like insanely good at the minute. I feel sad that I've not got it in the team tonight. So we see the Cinderace switch out. Wow, that bulldoze does so much damage. But it, it's, I mean, Crocodile does a lot of damage to everything on the field. So it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, we do proc that weakness policy and we're in a pretty decent position. Unless it is Scarfed Dracolish. But I mean, it's not going to get its full power. It's not. Okay, this is good. Get a Maxus. Um, issue is now that the Cinderace probably comes back in and can get its Max Airstream off. One option we could do is go Max Guard into Tentacruel and then go for the Bulldoze again. Uh, we'll get super effective damage onto the Cinderace and we'll slow down that indeed just one more turn. So that might work if the Cinderace comes back in. So we'll see, we'll see. Oh, so that's the uh, the mono water team strat. Bulldoze, clear body, tentacruel. Yeah, yeah, that is it. I think Johnny. I'm um, pretty sure. But they're normally they're normally using it with Lucario. The reason I've got Crocodile is because I just really wanted to play Crocodile tonight. So <laughs> it kind of worked. It kind of worked like that. So uh, we could do this, but we don't have Max Guard. Uh, now I'm I, I am worried about. Um, hmm. It's so easy for them just to max airstream and go for expanding force and without Rillaboom in the back. Not a lot we can do. Um, 
we could try and get our grassy terrain up and if they don't go max airstream then that's great for us the other option is actually just going for that bulldoze and just trying to nuke the indeedy anyway i think that's probably our best bet taking the damage with tentacruel uh, slowing the Cinderace down so Tentacruel gets the speed jump onto it. We take down the Indeedee, we don't lose Tentacruel. Potentially this turn. We may do though. May do. Are they, did the originator use Scarf Dracovish? I don't know. Nigel, how are you doing my friend? I hope you're well dude. Thanks for hopping and joining us tonight. Okay, we get the Bulldoze. That's the main thing. Tentacruel is pretty much on its last legs. We actually get the Indeedee, which is nuts. Was this crocodile so strong? <laughs> and then there's a geyser. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, this is really <laughs> like this is surprising me, honestly. Okay, so th there we go. This is working perfectly. Off crocodile is a beast. Okay, this is excellent. Um, <laughs> have we just stumbled upon something here? I don't know. We'll see how it goes tonight. Let's see how it goes, but. Feels good already. Feels good already. Lava lamp. Yeah, we got a Discord. We got a Discord. I will. Uh, I'll, I'll pull up the link for you right now. Um, because we are actually prepared for that. So there, there's the link. Hop in, join us. It's. Uh, it's got a seed checker and everything. If you want to use that sort of stuff. So we are kind of growing it at the minute. Um, but yeah, it'd be great to have you on board. We'll switch in Marowak just in case they go for a. Thing. But I mean, we're gonna we're gonna get the knockout here. No, no questions, unless it's scarf toxicity. But even then, we got we got scarf. Look at us. We're we're kind of all right. We're kind of good. So toxicity protecting on this last turn. Okay. Fine. I mean, we're gonna get a nice chunk of damage. We are plus three in the rain. What is this gonna do? Tox isn't like the strongest of Pokemon. This might. Nah, not quite. Not quite. Rito, how are you doing? I hope you're well, man. And a good day. We're playing Tentacruel tonight. And Johnny, can you imagine this guy? Hopped on Battle Spot, make himself comfortable, and then boom. <laughs> the pickable croc and giant squid rune is there. I know, man. Hopefully we can continue this for the rest of the evening. That would be that would be ideal. Yeah, okay, we'll get the crocodile back in. And um, oh, I don't even want to risk a muddy water. Goodness. But I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. I think a sludge bomb will be enough. It's not going to be super effective. I bred this crocodile as well, like, oh, uh, maybe two or three weeks ago, and I just haven't, like, found the right time to use it. So it's kind of nice. It originally was going to be an assault vest crook. They built the spread. Um, in mind to like one-on-one -on -one versus pz so you can always take a max um the max hyper beam with crocodile and then you can you can knock it out in two you can knock out a max um pz in in two close combats if it's not max you can knock it out with one uh, which is pretty nice so very good game to my opponent um and we will move on but it's yeah it's turned out to be a scarf one tonight so okay we got sam up next really let's Earthorn, Extra Drill, Focus, Incineroar, and another Tentacruel. Okay, there we go. Uh, Mikolo, thank you so much for the follow. Danny KFMS, thank you so much for the follow, guys. And Bebum, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well. All right, we've got to pick some Pokemon. Um, I mean, Tentacruel's great here, other than the fact that we're kind of seeing the Extra, extra Drill's not really... And then the Heliolisk isn't ideal either. I think we go... Hmm. Do we want Rillaboom here? Probably not. We've got P2. Kind of would like Togekiss here, but I don't know if I've really got room for it. So we'll go with these four. And otherwise we'd run out of time. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the battles, Bebo, mate. And dude, honestly, it's great to hear that things uh, with the dogs and stuff is, is like all going in the right direction. So I'm really happy about that, mate. Okay. Kiss Drill. Mm. Ah, it's so tempting. It's so tempting to max. 
to Max Bulldoze and just go into Toga Kiss, get rid of it. But then Mop comes in to support, and it's going to be Incineroar. Hmm. Would we be better just muddy watering? Really want to get rid of the Torkis to be honest. I think they'd like they're bound to know what's coming now. Well maybe not as well. Like just max ooze into Just if they max quake into Tentacruel. Probably lose it. Definitely lose it. And then I guess we do have Crocodile. We can still just sit and just bulldoze it a bunch of times. Let's see, let's see. We probably would have been smarter going for Geyser into Excadrill and then just have it redirected into the Toad Kiss, but... We'll see. You may not even see it follow me. Hmm. And the Great Ball. Three Toad Kiss, maybe? Drill. Me. Oh, this is literally ideal. This is like perfect. <laughs> it's Togekiss going for like a yawn here or something. It's perfect because now we just get the Togekiss. There's like no way Togekiss hangs on. Or may mm, maybe, maybe. I'm not going to say never, but I feel like we should take it down. Okay, perfect, perfect. Perfect. Okay. I'm guessing Togekiss is probably going for just chip damage onto the Crocodile there. And maybe expecting this to attack into Excadrill. That is a throw. It's definitely Sash Drill. Or is it Sash Drill then? May not be. You might be right. You might be right. So you might be weakness policy. Hmm. I think what we'll do. Okay, we'll switch into V2 and we go for the geyser now. Extra drill. I mean, if it's not Sash, then it's fine. If it is, then it's it's still all right. Like we'll lose Tentacruel and get Crocodile on back onto the field, so it's not like the worst thing in the world. And if it's not Sash, extra drill, I think we just win right now. Having the fake, uh, we don't even see fake out, so it's maybe it is. is it. Is it? I don't know. I think it is sashed. Looked like it kind of hung on. No, it's not. Okay, wow. I don't think so, Johnny. I think I, it's icy wind. Uh, I think protect is like a way better option there. Um, yeah, I agree with you. I think like. The hailstorm's not really worth it. The icy wind was there just as a way for us to. Um, okay, we'll go for a try attack and we'll go max guys are into Incineroar, but I think that's pretty much it now with Scarf Crocodile. Uh, icy wind was just another mode of speed control that I just thought might be useful to have on Tentacruel, but I definitely do agree with you. I think Protect probably better. Might be good to change it after this actually. Go out, change Tentacruel, come back in. Is that Scarf Tentacruel? Or did it just win the speed tie? Nah, just win the speed tie. What am I talking about? Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. No way it's Scarf Tentacruel. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I like Sash Drill if you're running Sand Rush with T-Tar. I think that's like... I think you get more out of it there, but...
I think you've got to play stuff like Sword Stance to really make use of it, but it's so risky now anyway because there's so much like uh, burning jealousy and things like that going around. It makes it really difficult to actually get going. Okay, we'll get a drink. Let's get some health back, but it's pretty much over now. Oh, there we go. Okay. Got oh, uh, Tyranitar, Lapras, Gudra, um, Hatterene, Arcanine, and Comfy. So Comfy and a team with the Gudra. Probably. A weakness policy Gudra. Maybe. Maybe it makes more sense to be weakness policy Gudra in this build. Because you don't have. Like, you've got. Kind of support for the, the Lapras, but not. I guess you do. Okay, you got like the trick room mode there, so maybe Lapras as well. We can't like just discount that. Um, hmm. Don't know if this setup is going to be. Hey, what does Lapras? Uh, okay, let's do this. Let's try. I think I do bring Marowak to this match. Ah, Marowak is not great here at all. Marowak is not great. So I think it's really been really. Um, but I do want to bring it. Okay, we'll do that. We're running out of time. <sighs> Nappy, I have a, a beat up Cobalion team and Gallade team. Super fun, but not offline. That does sound fun. I like the idea. I like the idea. Uh, Cobalion is something I haven't really played with at all this year, which is so dumb when I'm like, I hate PZ so much. Cobalion is like literally so good against it. <laughs> Breezy, everyone, everyone's got the confidence ready for an auto loss. <laughs> okay, might not be. It might not be so bad, guys. Have some faith. Have some faith. Are they gonna max? Do you reckon they're gonna max lightning here? I think they go for. I think. I personally think they're gonna go for uh, the crocodile and get their aurora veil up here. That's what I. That's what I think. So we'll go after comfy. The bulldoze into comfy, get the special attack boost, and then if we do lose Crocodile, we bring in what do we got? Rillaboom. We bring in Rillaboom, okay? So then they go max lightning, but then we bring in Marowak, so we get the lightning, and then we just try and move. It depends what comes in next to the Lapras. So this is what we're gonna try we have to try and do. Because otherwise we are just gonna have the auto loss. And it's gonna be very sad. I'm gonna be very sad. Look at this guy with all the style points that left us in the dive for. Ah, come on. <laughs> Hailstorm would have been great. Uh, uh, well, we've not got any more Johnny, so we can't think about that. Okay, there's a weakness policy. Let's just hope it's not lightning now. That would be bad. We need, we need to get the comfy. We need the Lapras to go after Crookedale. Like, Crookedale is the one that you want to go after. It's the one you can hit super effective to get your Veil up. Veil is always the most important thing in Lapras, right? Because you risk going down to Rillaboom if you don't get it up right now. I mean, you kind of risk going down to Tentacle Rillaboom anyway. I'm just saying all of this because I really hope that they don't go lightning into Tentacle right now. Yeah, it's resonant. Okay. Okay, good boy, Crookedale. You did good. You did good. And I mean, we only have to switch to Marowak if, if they for some reason have something like Incineroar out this next turn. Because I think you definitely go for Max Lightning. And now we've got a... Okay, it's Hat. Okay. We get the Grassy Terrain, which is ideal. And I think... Yeah, I mean, like... We just fake out, and... With Grassy Terrain, actually, I think maybe... Max Overgrowth probably gets the Lapras. A plus two. Okay, what are we going to see? What's this? Mup? Mupodocus? Um, this is 
still wow. See, come on, get the lapis through the veil. Oh, it doesn't. I'm gonna nuke. Of course, resonance again. It's going for the Rillaboom. Okay, but we lose Rilla. This is actually not. It's not the end of the world because we get Marowak in. Uh, we're going to be able to get Lapras this next turn, and then Marowak pretty much beats Pat. So that's that's all right. It's just a Gudra that's a little bit of an issue. But they probably max guard here. So we could potentially just max guard Marowak and go. Mm. Like max ooze into Gudra. And just forget about Lapras for a turn. And I'm kind of banking on the max guard, and if they go like um, max Geyser. No, they do. Okay. Lapras. Yeah, it is slower than our Marowak as well, so that's not bad. We need this attack boost though. Uh, Sorcia Maja Malgash, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Thanks for joining us tonight. Probably worth going to the Giga Drain now and then just go on um, Ulti guys, I think. Yeah, because that will get that'll get the Lapras. And even if that hat comes in, it's gonna do it now. Junk. Maybe Poltergeist gets uh, the Gudra here. I don't know. It's just with the Aurora Veil up. Maybe not as well. Of way more damage than what I expect. It's a soul best. Again, this is where like Sludge Wave would be. Sorry, Johnny. Thanks for the hydrate, mate. Okay, so I had coming in. Um, well, we just sludge bomb hat. We might protect here, but I don't know, like we can't even. Perfect. The technical can stick around this like this turn. That's ideal. It, it, it's gonna take a break and swipe. Just about. And this might put it in range to get it with Sludge Bomb. Yeah, we're gonna get it with Sludge Bomb now, I think. Oh, that's worked out all right in the end, and the Aurora Veil just ending. Okay, Tentacruel doing a bunch of work in this game for us. Uh, let's not even risk anything. Let's just go for that and Blair Blitz and Sludge Bomb. <sighs> okay, this should be enough. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Stu needs some salt for this slug. <laughs> Thanks for the hydrate, Dark Cry. Good game to my opponent. Uh, we got Klefki, Chandler, Urshifu, uh, Rillaboom, P2, and Toxtricity. Hmm. I mean, there's definitely, definitely the option for us to go Tentacruel, uh, Crocodile, but 
The only thing that throws a cog in the work for us would be... Well, one would be Scarf Airshipu, for sure. Um, and the, uh, the other issue would be Baker Rillaboom, uh, which is also a bit of a awkward for us to um, get around with Crocodile. But I think we go with this lead. We'll try, since this is the last one. And then we'll go. They definitely got a. I think got a tricky mod though. I don't feel like I think PT is probably not really. It's probably more. May not even be a trick room mod because they got the chandelier there. They can set trick room if they need it, but I'm, I'm present as well. Um, Rillaboom gonna be a good. Rillaboom, not great here. Like we got a kiss and maybe Marowak. And Marowak's pretty good. But we need speed control for Marowak. That's the issue. Oh no. Okay, well we're going P2 and Rillaboom. Timer, Johnny. We got it. There you go, mate. <laughs> and Johnny. I mean, don't exclude a mad read. It's such a risky read with limited reward. Well, that's it. Like, it could just be that. Yeah. Um... But at that point in the game, I just, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Max Crook. Right, what Urshifu is this? Is that dark? Because its balls are going down? Or is it water? No, it's water, isn't it? It's water, because it's got open fists, right? You guys have been teaching me. Have I got it right? Let's see. Water, okay, we get it right, okay. We've all been good students. Um, hmm, hmm. I mean, I really just want to go Baldos and Max, Max, no, Max Overgrowth, that's what we want to do. Yeah, we're going to do it. If it's Scarf Urshifu and it's Scarf Jolly Urshifu, when we're done. If it's Scarf Adamant Urshifu, we're fine, fine. Johnny Lee's learning panda <laughs> movements. <laughs> panda master. Okay, so hopefully we get this. T wave could be a bit of an issue from Klefki. Okay, light screen. Also a little bit of an issue. But maybe I you know what? I don't think I really don't think that light screen is gonna help this Urshifu. Like I'm positive Urshifu's got the, like the worst special defense in the game. And I think the plus two just kind of nullifies the, the light screen. So I think we're going to be all right getting it. Could be wrong. But no, we're, we're, uh, <laughs> we're so fine. There we go. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Okay, we get the, the Urshifu. Klefki can still threaten us with T-Wave for sure. So we need to be careful with that. Um, but we do have the play the next turn where we can max guard and bulldoze. Mm, it's going to be iffy whether we can get the cleft key though. Without the grassy screen, we definitely would. <laughs> Bad one with bye bye to panda. Bad 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 panda. Um, spare yeah, body. And this might be one of those moments where we. Get our P2 in and start getting our sludge wave, sludge bombs off. Yeah, because Klefki, well, Klefki can be dangerous because it has got access to, could have access to foul play, which, which probably would take down Tentacle right now. Just going for another screen. Fine. And we're probably going to see a trick room here, I think. Maybe Thunderbolt. We just actually went. Okay. 
Well, that's fine, because, like, we got the clear body, so it's, it's all good. Is Urshifu not like... Well, I guess a, a kind of a panda is a sort of a bear, isn't it? It's just kind of called a panda. They're kind of similar, aren't they? So, yeah, I guess it could be a panda. I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um... They got in the back. Be nothing that they want to bring in right now, I don't think. But let's go, Geyser. Go, Geyser into Klefki um, and go for a tri attack. Me too. I could go for another sledge wave, but it'd be nice to just to get rid of this Klefki now, I think, while we've got the opportunity to. At least if it is Chandler in the back. We've got the rain up, so it gives Rillaboom a little bit of an easier time when it comes in. So Electro Web as well. PSB control P2. Pretty much just try attack. We are plus one, so it should do a decent amount. Wow, it does like nothing. But we do get a burn. Okay, so we get pretty lucky there. Um Wow, at plus one, it's still doing nothing. I guess it is a P2, so I can't really gauge the damage too well off that. <laughs> uh, well, top switching will go down to... Oh, well, we can just muddy water here. There's, like, not really... Too much. Worried about try attack as well into top switchy. It probably takes ten to cool down for sure. Um, it's maxing. But I mean, we have plus three, plus three in the rain, muddy water. Still going to do a good chunk of this top. And we got Scott put down in the back, so we're kind of all right. Wow, takes it like a champ. Gun shop, technical. Kinda would prefer to be paralyzed, I think, with P2. Get the one we don't want. Tyler, how are you doing, mate? Made a trick room. We just polished the talk all with dust clubs. I think he's bulldozed. It's really fun. Nice, dude. Pleased to hear, man. That's awesome. Hope it's going well and you're enjoying it, man. It's super strong, like dust clubs with the with bulldoz. Uh, and but with the weakness policy talk all, that's a nice combination. I really like the idea of that actually. Yeah. Um Okay, well we let's bring in Crooked out. Is surely a high horsepower gets the, the top switchy from here. Yeah. And then a nice beam. Well, try attack. <clears throat> it's going to chip down that P2. I don't think Krug goes down to an attack from, from P2 anyway. Point like we might see. The one issue would be uh, where we potentially see an icy wind. But then we'll still outspeed the next turn so that's that's not that's not bad we're not in any danger just yet okay. uh, yeah and we just got for another try attack into the, so they could max guard icy wind for sure but they don't okay then that's done right very good game smoke well we haven't won just yet we still got to deal with this p2 and as you know p2 is like the one pokemon that can like 1v4, most teams that aren't prepared for it. I'm switching Crocodile out because I want to get it back in so we can stop close combating. Basically, we want to get P2 down to a point where we can just switch Crook in. Um, hmm. We could just keep it in right now. And then just rather than have it have grassy terrain, make you so yeah. 
big double net with high horsepower. This guy is not giving up. Fair play to them though, because there is a chance that they can kind of do some stuff. Icy wind in. And it depends how much this uh, tri attack does here, because it might be still enough to actually put it in range for high horsepower. Yeah, they're going to have to protect. But they're kind of locked in. Hmm, maybe with the burn, actually, if we get a high roll. Potentially, but they've got to recover here, so we're kind of locking them into this position where they kind of have to keep recovering. Yeah. Then I think they go for another icy wind this next turn. But do they? I don't know if they can afford to. I think they've got to go for a recover again. But I think another Icy Wind probably will allow them to outspeed Kukidal. So maybe they go. No, they can't afford to. they got to recover. they got to recover. Oh. Then that, that's, what, that's what happens. Okay. Okay, we just need Rillaboom Crocodile on the field. This is like, yeah, we need to just switch things up. I'm just gonna let P2 go down. <coughs> they do have light screen up as well. That's why our P2's not hitting very hard. That was light clicker, clip key. But that, uh, right attack should hit pretty, pretty hard here. Yeah, the icy wind it does avoid the Rillaboom. Um goes down on P2. I think they're only attacking moves. Oh, Electro Web and Icy Wind. Let's see how much this does. Mm, I mean it's better. Not ideal. What we can do here though is fake out um fake out switching Crocodile and then we've got Woodhammer close combat. Then we can go for this next turn. Epic Robot Boy, thank you so much for joining us and thank you so much for the follow. Okay, yeah, we'll do this. We'll fake out and we'll get Crook onto the field and then we can just shut it down. Icy Wind P2. Well, I don't know, Stu. I don't know if I like, I think it's genuinely like a viable way to like run P2 if you don't want to go down a trick room route. Um, and you can kind of see what my opponent's doing with their team. Um, so, I don't know, I, I can see its viability. Um, and I wonder, I do wonder in this format, like is P2 maybe better not be in a trick room more? I don't know, I don't know. It's very good if you're playing modest and maxing it. But there's always that option, so it's always an option on top of it there. Right, well we'll go close combat, we'll go wood hammer. Um, Close combat should be more than enough though now to get the P2 and that should lock the game up and we'll stop backing around. But very good game to my opponent. Um, I will get the rental team for you guys if you'd like to try it out. Um, I think if anything, Crocodile Tentacruel will just be a lot of fun to play around with. So I'll get rid of this one and then I will pop in this one from this evening. And like I say, any of you would like to try it out, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. So, friends, I'm going to say good night to you all. Have a great evening, whatever you're up to. Take care of yourselves. Um, and I will see you all hopefully Friday. We're going to play rental teams. So if you do have rental teams, do just send them over somehow to me and I'd love to feature them. So, uh, yeah, have a great night. Good day tomorrow and I'll see you all Friday. So until then, friends, take care and bye-bye.